Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Planoly to schedule Instagram posts. So I finally got around to joining Instagram last year and I pretty much never posted because I didn't have any app on my computer that I could use. You had to do it all on your iPhone. I cannot stand the tiny keyboard on iPhones. I much prefer to be in front of my computer. So I went in search on an app that would allow me to do that and I came across Planoly. So it's free. If you only post once a day, you can upload 30 photos per month. Um, otherwise, you can pay for their paid plan, which is only like nine bucks a month. Anyway, I'll include the link below if you are interested. Okay, so how to use it. It's really quick and easy to use. Um, you create your login and this is the main screen. Um, they've got all these other tabs and other menus that you can use. I literally just use the plan menu and I schedule a whole month, as you can see, of posts in about half an hour. So you locate where images are on your computer and then you just left click and drag them over to this menu here and it will upload them for you. So what I really like about this is that I know what posts I'm going to do for the month um, for blogging and then I just pull one of the pictures from those posts into Planoly and then I can promote that on Instagram to refer people to my blog. So by uploading all of them all at once I can see okay this is what like content I've got happening so I can see that I've got a lot of pen photos because I love my planner pens but people are probably not going to want to see 10 photos of pens in a row especially these ones which are quite similar with all my highlighter swatches I do love good uh, pen testing so I try and make sure that I scatter it around and give it a bit of variety so I might do like a planning photo a haul picture um, I'm not even going to show you how many of those photos I've got some pen swatches etc so having it all in the one menu here means you can easily see what you have and these ones are all unscheduled so it's got when it's got this little u in the corner here it means unscheduled and we can go to the scheduled menu and it will show you these are all the ones that I have um, planned coming up ahead so I can see I've got quite a few that are the same here so I'd probably want to move that around and switch in some of these other ones to give it a bit more variety um, so to add your descriptions and everything on the computer which is the main reason that I use it you just click on the image and then you just type in whatever you want. So this one, um, I need to add in the link because this post has only just gone live. I'm actually literally like doing my scheduling tonight for it. So I then go to the blog post. I get the link and shorten it using Bitly. I'll include the link below. That's a free URL shortener. Um, it's an online tool. And I just copy that link in here. And then I just have something about what the post is. Or I might say, you know, see this post for my favorite pens for... Um, t for writing on correction tape etc and then I have the link so they can click on it and go to my blog and then I add in my keywords so you can do um, text replacement on your iPhone which I was using for a while but I'll be honest I got lazy and then I ended up just using the same keywords all the time so I mean it doesn't really grow your Instagram when you're just targeting the exact same keywords keywords you want to do a bit of variety between your posts so I come onto my computer and I have um, a list sitting beside it which I'll include the link below if you're a fellow planner addict and just want to do some stalking or if you also have a blog with planning or you do micro blogging on Instagram um, and it's got over 100 hashtags that I have found for using planners which I find really helpful and it helps put variety um, into my posts regardless of whether you're in the planning niche as well or not it's a really handy thing to have your go-to list sitting beside you and then you can just pull a couple out um, and put them in your posts. So it also tells you how many you have remaining. So you can do up to 30 tags per post. And as you add them, so let's say I added one um, here, it will give you suggested ones as well. So you can see how many um, people have put posts about that. So that one doesn't have like anything. It's probably not going to get found. But this one is quite popular. So I try and do a mixture of ones that have a lot um, of posts like this one. And Planner also has a ton of posts about it so we can see that so I like to do a few so I usually do planner because it's popular and people will be looking at that frequently and then also something with a couple of hundred thousand some within the like twenty thousands and then a couple in this lower end here as well so if I do a variety then I find that tends to balance it out a bit and try not to use the same tags especially not the same ones consistently post after post all the time so then you just click on the suggested ones and it will add it for you and it will drop down that remaining number. So that's always really handy um, to make sure you're using enough hashtags and it's a lot quicker to type and just use the drop down than typing it on your iPhone. Then you can schedule it. So if you click in here, I've got this one scheduled to go live on the 29th. And then I usually post around midnight 
um, in Australia, because that's where I live, if you're wondering why my accent sounds a little funny, um, because most of my blog readers live in the US, I find that that is um, the most optimal time for them to see it, unless I want to get up at like 5am, which I don't, I like to sleep in a bit. So I either need to post first thing in the morning when I get up or late at night. So make sure you consider your audience of who is actually going to be interested in your content and post um, accordingly. So one problem with this app and with any scheduling app with Instagram, it doesn't post automatically for you. So once you choose your time and your date and you set up your tip save, then what happens is on your phone when it's time to post. So tonight at 11.15, I will get a like a text notification on my phone, which says that you've got a post that needs to be like ready to go live. So you just go onto the Planoly app and then you select that post and you literally just hit the post button and that's it. All your keywords, your tags, your description, everything is already there. All you have to do is hit that post button. So it's really quick and easy. And I find it's just so much nicer and easier to do it all on the computer, schedule it out for a whole month, and then I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to hit the post button on my iPhone. So I prefer to use the month view. If you post a lot on Instagram, like multiple times per day, if you're super dedicated, you can go with the week view. And then the other thing you can do is toggle on stats um, if you want to see that or not. So if you're just starting out on Instagram, you're not sure what time is a good time to post or you don't know when your audience is going to be online, that will give you a good indication. So I can see that at midnight gets me more views um, than say at, well, that one actually did all right. And so did that one. So maybe I should switch to morning posting. But typically I find that around midnight is the optimum. And you can also see which posts were more popular. So like your planner spread ones, they always do well for me. Um, I'm expecting that one to be quite popular because it's got lots of color in it. Um, you don't want to post too many of these sort of photos, which can look a little dull unless people zoom in on them. You need something that's bright and colorful to catch their eye in the news feed. Well, I don't know what Instagram calls it, but that's what I call it like on Facebook. So make sure you do a variety of content. Um, again, you can do all this other stuff up top here. To be honest, I don't even use it. I literally just come in here, upload my photos, add my keywords and descriptions, schedule it, and I'm done. And then I get out of there and I only spend about half an hour to schedule the whole month worth of content. So it saves a lot of time. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any comments, just let me know. I'm obviously by no means an expert. I just do the bare minimum when it comes to social media. Um, but I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials as well as my blog, um, including the free printables library and the link will be below. Okay, bye guys.